Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetTools.com and today we are comparing these two phones side by side. We have a Xiaomi Mi 4i and we have the Desire, HTC Desire A20s with us. Again, we are not specifically comparing these two phones, but we are comparing the hardware inside these ones. We have the Snapdragon 615 chipset inside, which is an octa-core CPU and we have MediaTek 6572 chipset inside this one. So both of these chipsets are kind of competitive to each other in terms of the price segment and these two phones are also very close in terms of the price we are right now going to tell you which chipset is actually better when you plan to buy a phone for approximately 10 to 15 thousand rupees you can buy these two chipset uh, phones with these two hardware so we are going to tell you in this video which one is better and we will do some benchmark gaming test on these devices we will compare the time taken on these two to actually complete the benchmark and we will also find out the speed at which uh, it is completed on and the score as well then we will do a high definition video playback test on both of these devices and we will find out the battery drain and the heating which is experienced on both of them then after we will do a real time gaming test in which we will play asphalt 8 on both of them for five minutes and we will find out the heating and the overall performance of the game when we run the game on both of the devices with the same settings now before starting this video i would like to point out few things both of them uh, are right now at uh room temperature and we have an AC in this room which is right now turned off so I will be completing all the tests in that particular scenario AC is turned off and we will find out the temperature and both of these devices are again going to be tested in the scenario when there will be no application running in the background there are same set of application installed on both of them so we are going to start this test from now on let's start the comparison and see whether Snapdragon 615 is better or MediaTek 6752 is better for you we will find that out so I have already ran the Nina Mark 2 on both of the two devices but I'm going to run this benchmark for the second time on both of them and let me start on the count of three one two three and let's see which one actually completes this test faster and what is the score So there is a very minimal difference however the score is different on these two phones there is a very minimal difference in terms of the completion time it is approximately one second faster completed over here as compared to this one and this one has given a score of 59.8 fps and the best score is 60 fps over here we have got a score of 56.3 fps but again both of these scores are good enough we will find out which one actually place the asphalt 8 better later on let's do the second benchmark test now so as you can see we have ran the benchmark on both of these devices but i'm going to run it one more time this is the second time i'm going to run the benchmark on both of them this is the initial score which we have got for the first time let's try to do it again and we will tap and again both of these devices have nothing else running in the background So as you can see we have got the score of 44527 over here on the MediaTek 6752 device as compared to this one which is the Snapdragon 615 and we have got a score of 37927. So benchmark scores are definitely higher over here as compared to the Snapdragon 615 device. Take a look over the hardware configuration which we have on both of these two phones. We have quadrant standard over there and we will find out the system information on both of these devices. Here we have the system information for the Mi 4i and as you can see over there we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor over there and we have MediaTek mt6752 over there which is also an octa core cpu we take a look over the display resolution we have high definition display over there and we have 720 to 1184 when it comes to the sensors we have 
accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, magnetic field sensor, gyroscope and lot of other sensors on this device which is very good and here we have the limited set of important sensors which includes accelerometer, proximity, orientation, magnetic field sensor. There is no step detector sensor over there but it is there on that particular device but again this is the device choice so uh, on the basis of sensors we can act, cannot actually compare these devices because it is something which OEM select for their phones which sensors they would like to have on the hardware. So it is approximately 30 minutes of video playback on both the Xiaomi Mi 4i which is having Snapdragon 615 and the HTC Desire 820s which is having the MediaTek 6752 as you can see. In terms of the battery drop rate this device has dropped from 74% to 63% which is again not bad and this one has dropped from 81% to 74% which is better I would say so in terms of the battery drop rate this device is definitely better as compared to this one because this one has dropped the battery more as compared to the MediaTek 6572 device let's take a look over the temperature and if we take a look over the back side of the Mi 4i it is 35 degrees approximately 34.2 and over here it is 35.3 which you can see over there and over here at the bottom the temperature is approximately 33 degrees and this is how it is so it is slightly warm I am not saying it is hot but it is definitely warm and near the camera part it is approximately 35 degrees over here on the edges it is 35 degrees again or 34.7 to be very precise and over here on the desire A20s if we take a look over the temperature it is 33.2 or 32.8 to be very precise over here on the camera part this side it is 32.32.4 degrees and over here at the bottom at the back it is approximately 31.5 or 4 and over here on the top on the front near the earpiece it is 32.4 32.4 approximately and over here at the front on the top so again in terms of heating uh, I would say both of these devices are kind of very close to each other but this device has become slightly more hot which is again not a major difference but that's how the difference is but the major thing is that the battery drop has happened faster on the Snapdragon 615 device as compared to the MediaTek 6572 device which we have with us now it's time that we test these devices on the basis of real gaming scenarios and that is one thing which actually pushes every other smartphone to its limits and we will find out which one actually performs better in terms of gaming and how does it handle the heat as well we will get to know that i'm going to play the same game on both of these devices which is asphalt 8 i'm going to start the timer for the first device right now and i'm going to start with the htc desire a20s which we have with us and let me just pause the timer and i rather start it once the game has started so let me load the game and then i will start the timer
the timer is over let me just pause the game and come out and take a look over the temperature so the temperature over here right now on the back is approximately 39.7 degrees which is definitely hot and over here it is 36 uh, near the camera it is 39.6 over it is 34 on this side and this is the hottest part which is approximately 39 degrees let's take a look over the front top and over here we can see that it is 36 degrees over here it is again 36 34 and at the bottom over here the temperature is less which is approximately 35 degrees and at the back over here it is 34 degrees so overall the device is slightly hot not very hot that you cannot hold it in hand but definitely hot as compared to the initial temperature so let's do the testing again with the Mi 4i this time and this time we are going to see how much this device actually heat up the timer is over let's take a look over the temperature so on me for i the temperature is definitely much more hot it is 50 degrees 50 degrees of temperature definitely i was actually not very comfortable while playing this game but this device does heat up quite a lot uh, in comparison with the mediatek 6572 device as you can see it is 51 degrees over here at the bottom the temperature is less which is 36 degrees and over here on the display part if we take a look it is 37 degrees over here 38 39 so approximately 40 degrees of temperature and over here at the top it is again very much high it is 49 degrees 48 degrees approximately 48 to 49 and it is basically dropping down as I have uh, paused the game so it, the temperature is dropping down but definitely this device heats up more one more thing I would like to include that uh, when it comes to the display size the display size is definitely different on these two phones but that does not affect much the display resolution does affect when it comes to heating so the Mi 4i actually has full high definition resolution uh, which is also causing this phone to heat up slightly more compared to this one but overall in terms of the overall performance uh, this device was better the overall heating was also less over here even if we talk about the display the display does contribute to the overall heating part especially when it is a full high definition display the graphics are much heavy on this one as compared to this one so that does contribute to heating but overall the phone uh, is not supposed to heat that much that you cannot hold it in your hand when you are doing gaming even for five minutes so after doing the thorough comparison i have found out that when it comes to the high definition video playback the battery drop rate was again higher on this one as compared to this one and when it comes to the real-time gaming when we perform gaming on both of these devices for the same time the battery drop is again higher over here which is definitely not a good thing so in case you are a gamer and you want to buy a phone uh, make sure you don't buy a phone with snapdragon 615 inside i'm not saying it this for for the me 4i but for any other four phone for instance even this has the second generation of 615 processor but definitely it, it heats up like anything it heats up heats up quite a bit which is very much uncomfortable to hold in hand as compared to this device which was not that much hot compared to the 820 820 actually had the uh, other chipset which was kind of heating that much but on 820s which is this one right now it is mediatek 6752 which is definitely better in our testing as of now in terms of the overall overall battery drop rate the overall performance is good as well over here I could see few frame drops over here as compared to this one when it comes to gaming. So in all, uh, the final result concludes to that the MediaTek 6572 devices uh, are definitely better than the Mi, than the Snapdragon 615 device. And especially for a gamer, I won't recommend you to buy a Snapdragon 615 device because they will heat up quite a bit and the battery drop rate is 
slightly higher as compared to the MediaTek 6752 devices. So that's all for us. Do let us know if you have any specific question for these two devices or for these two hardware actually not for devices. We would love to help you. You can like the video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching the video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.